Welcome, welcome back to the MN Stash, the only channel on YouTube that accepts Spider-Man Web of Shadows for the PS2. Now, as you probably know already, if you are a fan of Spidey video games, Spider-Man Web of Shadows in many ways is an underrated classic. With some of the finest combat we've ever gotten in a Spider-Man game, which also introduced the web strike mechanic, but we also can't forget this game's amazing QTE fails. Are you okay? I told you to lay off. Yes, the story was all over the place, but there was one thing unique about it, and that's the choice system. Unlike Telltale games where the choices genuinely have no purpose, <laughs> Web of Shadows gives us four possible endings. Now, as you play along, you are faced with many choices which can affect the way Spider-Man acts. For an example, during your playthrough, if you pick majority of the symbiote choices, then Spider-Man will start to change behavior-wise. I probably should have explained first that the choice system boils down to a good and a bad side. Red suit or black suit, if you will. If you pick too many black suit choices, then you get the bad ending. If you pick majority red choices, you get the good ending. However, there is a couple of exceptions, and it all boils down to this one specific choice. Do you save Black Cat, or accept her death? If you don't infect Black Cat with the symbiote and finish the game with mostly good choices, then you'll get what's considered the hero ending, where you save the day, and you do one last swing around the city with Spider-Man's true love, Mary Jane. If you save Black Hat and do mostly bad choices, then you end with the villain ending where Spider-Man reigns supreme as a leader of the symbiotes and shares his power with his queen, Black Cat. Now, if you don't save Black Cat but do mostly bad choices, you get another version of the villain ending. This time, however, Spider-Man is without a queen and vows to get Mary Jane back. You'll be mine again, Mary Jane. No one will ever say no to me again. And lastly, if you save Felicia but do mostly good choices, then you end up with what I like to call the typical Parker Luck ending. Spider-Man saved the day, but at the cost of losing MJ, with the ending showing him trying to reach her by being sent to voicemail. Right off the bat, we might as well go out and get rid of the two endings that are no way known going to be the definitive ones, and obviously it's the hero and obviously it's the villain endings. I mean, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Do I really have to explain it? There's no way that Peter Parker would end up king of the symbiotes and forget his whole responsibility thing. Same goes for the other villain ending, by the way. It would be stupid if that was genuinely the real ending. That leaves us with the two hero conclusions. Wow, who would have guessed that? So now, it, it really all comes down to does Spider-Man in an act of desperation try to save Black Cat from death by using the symbiote? I gotta say, I feel like he would. This is easily the most difficult choice of the game, as it can be perceived in many different ways. Personally, I've always found Red Suit to be a poor choice. While you fight the Black Cat, Spider-Man hurt Felicia so badly under the symbiote that a part of him basically died inside. She was injured with possible broken bones inside, and clearly on the verge of death. Shield Medicine would hardly do anything to save her, therefore, the dark choice always seemed to be the right one. If he had to, Peter would give his entire symbiote to save Black Cat. Everyone always forgets that if not as a love interest, but also as a friend, Felicia is important to Spider-Man. Peter, no matter what, always tries his hardest to make sure no one dies when he's around, and as stupid as that might sound due to, you know, how that would be nearly impossible, given what he deals with on a daily basis, I could easily see him in a last-ditch effort to do it. His sense of responsibility wouldn't dare let him not save her, or else he'd think it's all his fault, and when that starts to happen, that's when he really tears himself apart. Not only that, but it's Felicia too, a and if this game, which I assume it does follow at least some form of synergy uh, with the comics, then by now he'd have known her for years, creating such a strong bond, which would only furthermore be a strong factor in his choice. Also another thing, the symbiote in this game seems to be way stronger and more powerful than his comic counterpart, with its ability to control and infect people especially. It is shown in a Carnage comic that to be able to uh, control and affect people, he must consume a large amount of cattle to give the symbiote more mass. Whereas here, it's sort of like they don't need to really prepare in any way. Another example would be how the symbiote offspring system works. You see, they can only create six offsprings with years in between. However, here, well, I, I mean, just look for yourself. Now, with all that said, it's very possible that this version of the black suit has a stronger mental control on Spider-Man, which would then give him that extra push to infect Felicia and save her. To me, at least, after all that's happened, I think that the odds of Peter accepting Black Cat's fate would be really hard. I mean, we all know how desperate he can get sometimes. <clears throat> this then leaves us with the typical Parker Luck ending. Hello? 
there. Sorry I missed you. You know the drill. I know you're there, and I know you won't pick up. I just hope that someday you'll understand that I did what I did because I was so desperate to win. I just wish I had the strength to do what was right. I'm sorry. This ending in many ways sums up Spidey because as we all know, when Spider-Man wins, Peter Parker loses. Sure, he just saved the entire world of a symbiote invasion, but at the end of the day, he lost the one person he truly loves. I understand how this ending is pretty depressing, but most Spider-Man stories are because no matter how hard a hero tries, there's always something there ruining his moment. And that is why I believe the typical Parker Luck ending is the true, definitive ending. Thank you guys for watching, if you have enjoyed please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already because here any support means so much. We are trying to hit 460 subscribers before the end of the week and I know we can do it with your help. I would also love to know what you guys think of this ending, do you believe it is the definitive ending? We can start a conversation down below. That being said, thank you guys again for watching. Be sure to check in next time as we go over the Spider-Man Lotus film, same web time, same web channel. See you in the next one.